So we all know that climate emergency is a real thing and we need to address um, climate change and to do that one of the ways is to reduce our carbon emissions um, and that's where green energy comes in. Marine energy fits into this equation quite nicely. Tidal energy has great benefits, especially in areas like the UK being an island nation with the second highest tidal ranges in the world. Uh, we have great opportunity to utilise that. So Queen's has been involved in tidal energy research for the past 10 years. Uh, we've run three or four successful projects through the Invest Northern Ireland CASE projects, the latest of which is the VATS project. So tidal energy works very similarly to wind energy. So if you imagine a big wind turbine, um, but place that underwater and it's harnessing the movement of the tides. This is where research on tidal energy is so important because we can predict and so we can harness a lot of energy from that movement. This sort of tidal turbine is a floating structure, which means that it can easily be deployed and recovered. Also, being a vertical axis turbine, it can produce a lot of power for a minimum swept area, which is a really important factor for my work on the potential risks posed to marine mammals. And so these, this device is offering a, a much reduced risk while still producing a, a, a good amount of renewable energy. Uh, throughout the project, we're, we're monitoring for the environmental effects of, of this device. This device rotates an extremely low RPM, um, which means that it's unlikely to cause any harm to animals. We still monitor this device uh, currently through marine mammal observers. Also now I am developing an underwater camera system to monitor the, the rotors and monitor the area around the turbine. And no researcher has ever found any collisions to have occurred between any marine mammals and tidal energy devices. These kind of monitoring projects are still key and important and, and ongoing. Well, KISS was established by Invest NI as part of the Northern Ireland Competency Programme to look how we could actually decarbonise uh, Northern Ireland's energy system and yet grow the economy at the same time by marrying the brilliant entrepreneurial spirit of Northern Ireland business with the academic excellence we have across Northern Ireland. It's fantastically important that we approach it from a collaborative point of view. And there is no particular one solution that's going to do it. So we have to look across a very, very wide field of solutions and partners to actually come up with how do we actually achieve this goal. We are working with technology that is being developed. One of the challenges is, for instance, to get a standard on how to uh, test the performance of a device. This is at the same time a challenge and a contribution because we are developing uh, procedures that will improve the current guidelines to test a converter, energy converter, or to identify how good is a site, a, a test site, um, how to deploy the device, how to process the data. So all of this is new, it's challenging to do it for the first time, but at the same time is one of the aim of the projects. We're um, the technology provider, so we, we've developed a hydrokinetic turbine that operates in free-flowing water streams, so it's ideal to the site here at Strangford. Oh, this model, it's got a very unique design where we use a bluff body to accelerate the flow uh, around that bluff body and into the turbines. And the turbines in are designed specifically for that accelerated flow. It's a very nice uh, location to test uh, a turbine. Uh, one of the nicest things we see here is the clarity of the water actually because we've tested in other places and you can't see the turbine but the water up here is so clear it's, it's great. Really good for uh, studying my life as well obviously because you can see how they behave around the turbine. Uh, the flows are great and um, you've kind of got almost from nursery site out to full, full flow speeds for our, for our rated speeds so that's really nice as well to have that uh, option and probably one of the biggest things is the people up here are really nice. It's great to work with uh, the guys in Queens, you know, and uh, the Marine Ops guys. Everybody really is really helpful here. Clean energy is the only way forward for the future. So for us, these types of projects are critical um, to, you know, just demonstrate the device, demonstrate that it, you know, it has very low to no impact on wildlife, um, and that they're viable solutions that can and should be rolled out as soon as possible to make the transition over to clean energy. So GS Group's role in the VAT project is to supply battery storage units, which will store the energy that's produced from the vertical axis turbines. The potential energy to be generated by the tidal power, it's huge. This research is vital with the aspects of reducing carbon footprint, 
hitting the target of net zero in the next 10, 15 years. And it's very exciting. Uh, so the electric storage company is involved with BATS in terms of battery storage and energy management. So what we bring is expertise in how the green electricity that's being generated is going to be managed and stored. So with any renewable electricity generation, uh, battery technology is, is critical to it. It's the predictability is the, uh, the aspect that uh, electricity systems have uh, trouble with. If you store it, you can discharge and charge it anytime you want and it bring, brings that predictability to the electricity system. Tidal energy is green energy is what we need to be doing for the future. Projects like VATS are fundamental to the progression of, towards carbon net zero and if we can generate this technology, this know-how, this expertise here, we're building for a better future for electricity systems globally.